Central. It's Long Island going up against Canada. Along with Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. We're in store for a major league debut. In the Just about ready to roll. And on the mound today, Nick Pavetta. Chris, what should we keep an eye on here with him? Yeah, ZRA last year was a little worse than average, so definitely be looking for better results this season. Even one of the keys is just being able to have a consistent delivery and to be able to repeat that delivery so you can hit the spots that you want to hit and have a higher chance of being successful. Next one is off the play. Now 2 and 0. Oh. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. 3 0 down. Three, Three balls, one strike. That one ripped. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. So digging in, Eric Ibar. Homered in the ball game yesterday afternoon. Now a screamer into the outfield. He's there. He's got it. Two away. Two outs, bases empty. Stepping in, Miguel Tejada. And first offering is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Half an incomplete. We've got no score. Welcome back to Comiskey Park. And today's starting pitcher, Irvin Santana. What do you look for here? There's always a bit of a learning curve for rookie pitchers. You've got to get familiar with these big league hitters, and it's more of a chess match, but I think this kid's got good stuff and the potential to be great. Left-hand batter waits. Swing, and he breaks his bat. Bare hand has to hurry. Not in time. He's safe. Did a nice job getting there. Good throw, but very difficult to get anybody on that one as far as you. There goes the runner. That's hard hit on the line. Gomez calls it in, and there's one away. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. That's in there. And that's strike one. Chris, how about Freddie Freeman and the career that he has delivered? He's turned into one of the better all-around hitters and a really good defender at first base. Drops into the glove. Out number two. Batting. And the batter now is Joey Votto. There's a strike. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Right-hander kicks, deals. That one to first. Oh, nice stop at first. And that's a nice play to end the inning. An inning, no score. Second inning, set to go. And now the right fielder, Jose Batista. Swings and misses. Strike one. Wow. Good luck catching up to that one. The next ball offering one. misses, and that's ball, ball one. one. Right side. Casey drifts towards it. Makes the catch for the out. That is it. Now it's the rookie first baseman, Edwin Encarnacion. Swing and a tapper. Two up, two down on the top of the second. At the play, Carlos Gomez trying to pick up his first knock in the big leagues. 
Not what close up. with that one. One and oh. This one smoked out to left. Makes the catch. And that's the third out. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom of the second. Here's Tyler O'Neill. Well, in their win last game, this guy came up with two home runs. Obviously trying to keep the roll going here in this one. Swings and misses. That's strike one. Check swing, but he went too far. And the count is 0-2. In the dirt. To first. And O'Neill is retired. We'll take a look at the three pitch sequence here. Pretty simple in terms of putting them away at the plate. Once you're ahead 0 2 as a pitcher, you can really expand the zone and see how aggressive that hitter is going to be trying to protect and battle. And right there, clearly he was in swing mode, but all you can do is hope to foul that off. Number 22, flying after this one. And he can't quite get there. It's a foul ball. Lifted in the air, right center field. And puts the squeeze on that. Two down. Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. That could set him up to go deep into this game. Abraham Toro, the next to hit, takes ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. No score here in the second. On the ground right side. Encarnacion takes it himself out with room to spare, and that's the inning. So they make short work of him there. We and welcome back. And now it's the switch inning second baseman, Anderson Hernandez. Hernandez goes five feet, nine inches, 31 years old, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. Brings it in with a nice running grab. One away. Now that's a tough play for the infielder ranging back into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. Ronnie Belliard, the batter now, as he swings and misses for strike one. Not even close there. One ball, one strike. And the right-hander deals. Late that time, and it's strike two. He got away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. That misses. Two balls, two strikes. One down, base is empty. And there's a ball. Full count. On the ground. Not in time. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. Ronnie Belliard with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you worked to get here. Out towards right center field. Casey drifts towards it. And makes the grab. And there's two away. Number 22 will hit next. He's over one. Out towards left center. Makes the grab on the run. And that is that. Home half of the third coming up. No. Back here at the ballpark and stepping in, the rookie left fielder, number 97. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Santana, a 6-2 righty, 28 years old. And he was drafted in the eighth round back in 2019. Here's a 1-1. And that's in for a strike. 1-2. to the right side, Encarnacion. He'll do it himself. One up, one down. Here's the rookie right fielder, Owen Casey. 
And that's in there for strike one. In there at the knees for a strike. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. And that turns the lineup over. The throw is wild and it gets away. Back to the top of the lineup. Now it's going to be number 95. Down All low. one low. There's the strike at the knees. Swing and a miss. And the count one and two. And another ball. And the righty deals. Set down on strikes. Not sure about that call. Pitcher might have gotten a friendly strike three. Here's the shortstop at the plate. Otto Lopez in there for strike one. Lopez, the kick of the pitch. Runner goes. Ground ball right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. On to the fourth. Back here at Comiskey Park, out of the fourth. Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop, Eric Eyeball. Swing, and that's ripped towards right center. Dives, but it falls. And now it looks like extra bases. They're still chasing it as he rounds second. And he makes it into third with a leadoff triple. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. I love the hustle out of the box, man. He drove that baseball, and he was thinking triple right away. Now let's see if they can put up the first run of the game. Now the third baseman, Miguel Tejada. He's 0 for 1. And first offering is fouled off. You know, this group of hitters, as you probably noticed, haven't been shy at the plate at all. In fact, they've probably been too aggressive at times. I'm specifically talking about the first pitch. These guys are swinging more than 80% of the time, which is fine if you're scoring runs, but that hasn't been the case today. Next offering is foul back. One and two now. Popped up left side. Lopez in position. Makes the grab. And there's one away. Bill, oh, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. And I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrating with himself until his next at bat. Now at the plate, no, no, no. Jose Batista. Over oh, one with a fly out. Batista. And the first pitch misses for ball one. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss right there. Ibar stands at third with one gone in the inning. And a base hit on a line. And they strike first as they take a 1-0 lead. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. Digging in, Edwin Encarnacion grounded out his first time. And that one fouled off. And a pitch. Fly ball down the line. Casey gets under it. He's got it. And there's two down. The center fielder, number 80. Carlos. And now the center fielder, Carlos Gomez. 0 for 1 so far. Swings through that one. 0 and 1. Oh, he's looking great so far. It helps when over 80% of your first pitches are strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. That one ripped left field. That's back. And that one is out of here. Carlos Gomez with his first major league home run. A special moment in his young career. And who knows, maybe that'll open the floodgates for him. Yeah, getting that out of the way can be a big confidence booster. It feels like a huge weight just been taken off your back. 
can go up there with a lot less pressure on you now, and I wouldn't be surprised if he gets hot for a little while. What do you remember about your first career homer, Chris? Well, I remember it was off of Omar Olivares, and you know, being there in Los Angeles against the Angels, just a tremendous day, great ballpark, and a special moment for sure. Oh, Swing and a miss. That is strike two. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher maybe double up on a pitch. This guy will throw it three times, four times in a row because hitters just can't lay off of it. Here's a one-two. Just oh. missed. It's a good take. Next pitch misses, and it's a full count. The idea was right, looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. Swing and a ball popped up. Squeezes it, and that will end the inning. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. It's now 3-0. Major League Baseball is on the show. Welcome back. John Chambi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading the off the bottom Freeman. of the fourth, Freddie, Freddie Freeman. Freeman. To the right side, it's through for a hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Wastes no time there. He kind of rolled the over on this pitch a little the bit, but he got enough behind no, it to shoot it through for a knock, and oh. we'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. Votto, the oh. next to hit, takes outside. Well, the oh, offense no. has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there, have a real quick inning, get those guys. Takes it to the bag. That's one. Relay to first. Double play. Very composed play from the shortstop position right there. I mean, that was a perfect decision. Go ahead, take it yourself, get to second, and then fire to first. Make sure you get those two outs. And now Tyler O'Neill. High fly ball, right field. Batista moving back for this one. Nice grab on the run. That is the inning. Welcome back to Comiskey Park. New inning getting started. And now the DH, Ronnie Belliard. This ball's chopped on the ground. Bare hand grab, throw to first. Nicely done for the out. He was out early today working on that very play. And now the catcher comes up to him, Castillo. Ripped on the ground a second. And a couple of quick outs. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, yeah, it will yeah, be yeah. a very Number positive one, two, sign three. for him and for his team. So two down now, and here is number 22. Ripped on a line to center. Base hit. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. And the batter now, Eric Ibar. Dives and he can't hang on. No throw, and he reaches safely. Here's the third baseman, Miguel Tejada. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Next pitch is inside, and it's one and one. Double-barreled action in the bullpen. John Axford loosening up for manager David Bell. Sousa warming up as well. This one popped up, and that will end the inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the catcher, Kurt Casali. Kurt. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. And there's one away. So up next, Abraham Toro. 0 for 1. He grounded out to first his last time. Slapped foul. And he deals. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. And, and a pitch. That one no. just misses. Caught a break right there. One, Pretty good pitch on the outside corner. Back to the mound. And it gets by him. 
just kept it simple played pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from and there's just no one there to knock it down man at first number 97 the next to hit in there and it's own one Toro the base runner at first with one out off the mark there and it's a ball to strike line drive and that's a base hit out of the center field lead runner around second the relay the tag out well the defense definitely on the clock with that one everything had to be perfect to get the runner at third and you talk about a throw on the money the relay to third just a good job all the way around you'll one center field Gomez should have this one and that ends the inning We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, John Axford. He's making his second appearance of the season. Here's a big power threat. Jose Batista. And a pitch. Swing and a ball lined out towards center. O'Neill settles under it and makes the catch. And there's one down. Stepping in, the long ball threat, Edwin Encarnacion. Edwin Encarnacion. Encarnacion in his rookie season, 32 years old, and he was a second round pick back in 2019. Next offering is fouled back. So now one and two. One Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Riding to the plate. And that no. one just missed off the outside New edge. Ball. Really good take, especially with two strikes. That pitch okay. just misses the inside corner. Ball three. Struck him out looking. So digging in, now, Carlos now. Gomez. He's already Carlos. homered in this game. Swing it a foul straight back. And now the 0 1. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. He's got it, and that is out number three. So they go quietly there on to the bottom of the six. Here's the second baseman, number 95. The second baseman. The pitch. Strike one. Well, these guys, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. Snags it on the run. One up, one down. Now and the batter will be the shortstop, Otto Lopez. Lopez. And that is in for a strike. 0 and 1. And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had him eaten out of the palm of his hand pretty much all game. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Ibar makes the catch. That's out number two. Freeman ball. lays off down low as he digs in for the third time. No strike. Next ah. offering is in for a strike. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. One of the things you may notice with Freddie Freeman, he always wears long sleeves. And you go back and remember his mom, Rosemary, she died of melanoma, skin cancer, back in 2000. Well, plays made there, and that retires the side. Righty reliever out of the pen, Rowan Wick. The offense will need to be ready for the breaking stuff. He's got a great curveball. Now it's the second baseman, Anderson Hernandez. Anderson. The pitch. Swing and a ball popped up. And he makes the catch. And there's one down. 
the batter. The Next is the designated hitter, Ronnie, Ronnie Belliard. Belliard. One for two. In the air, center field. Grabs it on the run. Two down. Now back out. Number two three outs, three. base is empty. And now here is Castillo. That hits the dirt, and that is ball one. That one the other way. Brings it in for the third out. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the seventh. Now it's the DH, Joey Votto. First pitch That's doesn't find the zone. And that one lifted in the air center field. Gomez has this one sized up. Brings it in. And there's one down. The offense needs to start showing Let's some fight against, against this starter. Up, He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some point and make him work a little bit harder. O'Neal batting with one down. Takes a strike. In for a strike, 0 and 2. Cuts and misses, it's a strikeout. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it, keep him off. And there's the third out. That'll do it for the inning. New pitcher on now, Bennett Sousa. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. And here it comes. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Dives and it gets by. Makes the turn and heads for second. Tries to get back and see. Eric Ibar getting ready to hit. A switch hitter batting right. This one in the dirt. And an excellent job keeping it right there. Nobody out. Runner at first. Rolled over to third. They get one. Throw to first. Safe. And now Miguel Tejada. Miguel Tejada. Rolled to short. Could be two. To second for one. On to first. Double play. And that's the inning. One hit in the inning, but no one left. Last half of the eighth coming up. The Lightning have the advantage. And welcome back. And now it's switch hitting third baseman Abraham Toro. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. Santana into his eighth inning of work, Singy. He's been good. Yeah, he's the type of guy that gets better as he gets deeper into the ball game. If you're going to get to him, you get to him early. They didn't do that today. We'll see what happens as this finishes. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Number 97 now at the plate. And that one fouled off. Pitch count in great shape. It seems you might have a chance to finish it. Left-hand batter waits. Blows the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. On the ground to first. The flip to the pitcher covering. Play made. That ends the inning. New arm out of the bullpen. Ian Jabot. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And 
One of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Batista, the leadoff batter as he swings through it for strike one. And that's a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Now, here is Edwin Encarnacion. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Ball one there. Shoots a line drive single into right center. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Here's the center fielder, Carlos Gomez. He's already homered here in this one. Line drive. Makes the grab on the run. One away. Two on with one out. Next to hit, Anderson Hernandez. in the air left field snags it for the second out and now the DH Ronnie Belliard one for three oh. and fires in a fastball at 95 well at bat can be a little bit of a dance strike one here but a few more pitches we'll see how it turns out Swing and a miss, and it's 0-2. More and more guys are looking to slug regardless of the count. In this situation, we'll keep a close eye on his approach. On the ground to third, and it gets by him. Batista coming home. He'll score, and it's 4-0. Just found a way to slap that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent back control, and it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. That was just nice. This one kicks away a little as he can't squeeze it. Nothing happening on the bases, though. First and second, two down. Pitch misses, and the count is one and one. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Makes a nice running catch. And that is that. Bottom of the ninth. Now here is number 95. The second base. The wind of the pitch. That's in there, and it's 0-1. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. you got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. The one-two. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Went right after him with that two-strike pitch as he continues to roll on the mound. Yeah, he's not out there trying to nibble at all. He is attacking the strike zone, and I think when your confidence builds as the start goes on, still putting up all zeros on the scoreboard gives you a lot of confidence that you can really continue to go after these hitters. And that wasn't the best pitch for the strikeout there. And he'd probably admit that, but he got it by him. That's off the mark. Two balls, two strikes. Bounced up the middle. Nice grab. And he beats it. He's safe. Not every base hit is a liner into the gap, just like not every strikeout's a perfect slider down and away. I mean, right there, he just put the ball in play on the ground and gave it his all to get down to first for the knock. Freeman stands in now and watches strike one. Pitch misses there, ball one. Kicks and deals. 
right back to the mound. Could be an easy two. On the second, they get one. The double play ends it right here. It has become increasingly difficult to throw a complete game shutout because of all of the offensive prowess that these hitters are showing around the league today. But he had total command of this game, and he saw it all the way through to the end. Nice win. A 4 nothing shutout in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon.